Let's talk about a three-step binomial tree. Here we have the two formulas that we're going to need to apply. So the first one is in order to calculate f, which is the current value of an option. Then we have p cube, p being the probability which I'll talk into more detail next slide. And then we have RF, which is the risk free rate. And then the two more things to know are U, U being the magnitude of an up jump and D the magnitude of a down jump. This basically means we know in the binomial tree it's going to go up and down. So u is going to be by how much it goes up and d by how much it goes down. Okay. F u u u would be, we will see in the next slide, but f u u u would be the option value when it has gone up three times, FUUD consequently would be the option value when it's gone up twice and down once, and FDDU gone down twice, gone up once, FDDD gone down three times, okay? Right, let's apply this to this exercise. The exercise says shares in Nuka PLC are traded on the stock market and are currently valued at six pounds per share. The expected annually compounded annual risk free rate is 1%. Assuming that the share price will either fall in value by 20% or rise in value by 50% each year, calculate the value according to the binomial option pricing model of a European call option, this is important, which entitles its holder to buy one share in Nuka PLC for £10 in three years time. So what this last part means that entitles its holder to buy one share for £10 means that the £10 is the strike price. Okay? Okay. So, let's start drawing the binomial tree. And let's take it step by step. So, the first thing we know is that the share is currently valued at £6. Okay. We start at £6. Then it goes up and down. Remember we said u is the magnitude by which it goes up. Here it says that the share price can either fall in value by 20% or rise by 50%. Therefore u, remember, is the up jump, therefore the rise. So u is going to be 1 plus the percentage by which it rises, which in this case is 50%, which in decimal places is 0.5. Therefore u is 1.5. D is the same, but when it goes down. So 1 minus the percentage by which it falls, which in this case is 20%. Therefore, D is 0 0.8. In order to find the share price when it's, go, when it's gone up, we do 6 pounds times U, which gives us 9 pounds. When it goes down, we do 6 pounds times D, which is 0 0.8. And this gives us 4.8 pounds. Okay. Then we keep going because this is a three step binomial tree. Remember in the question it says in three years time. Okay. So we go up once more, down, up and down. So when the nine pounds again rises, we do nine pounds times U. This gives us 13.5 pounds. Now notice here, these two lines meet. This means we can find out the share price at this point, whether we do nine pounds times D or whether we do 4.8 pounds times U. In this case, let's do nine pounds times D and this gives us 7.2 pounds. Then 4.8 pounds times D gives us 3.84 right and then one more time 
we go up and down, up and down, and up and down. 13.5 times u again gives us 20.25. 13.5 times d gives us 10.8. 7.2 times d, we get 5.76. And the last one is 3.072 pounds. Okay, excellent. Now, what we normally do is we write down the option values below the share prices. Now we know the current call option value, which is what they're asking us to find out, is F here. However, we don't know the value yet. When it goes up once, it's FU. When it goes down once, FD. When it goes up twice, we write FUU. Here we can either write FUD or FDU. Okay, this means the same thing. It's up to you to choose. Then when it goes down twice, we can write FDD. And then the last uh, option values are FUUU, because it's gone up three times, FUUD or FUDU, you get to choose. 5.76 under that we write FDDU. And finally, FDDD. Okay. Excellent. Now let's calculate these option values in the third year when the strike price is 10 pounds. Remember, the crucial thing in this exercise is that they mention that this is a call option. The definition of an option is that it gives you the right, not the obligation, to exercise the option. Therefore, because this is a call option, which means that an investor makes money when the share price goes up, the investor will only exercise the option if the share price is higher than the strike price. Our strike price is 10 pounds and the share price is 20.25. Therefore, the investor is making money here. More precisely, he is making 20.25 minus the strike price, which is equal to 10.25. So the difference between the share price and the strike price. At FUUD, the investor again is making money because the share price is higher than the strike price. Again, we do the same calculation. We do the share price minus the strike price and we get 0 0.8. However, what about the two last ones? As you can see in these two, the strike price is higher than the share prices. So the share prices have gone down past the strike price. This means that the investor, if he were to exercise the option, he would be making a loss. Therefore, because he has a right, not an obligation to exercise the option, in this case, he wouldn't exercise it because otherwise he would be making a loss. Therefore, the option is worthless. For 3.072, this is the same story. Because the option, because the share price, sorry, is lower than the strike price, the investor would be losing money if he exercised, therefore the option is worthless. Excellent. So now we have all the option values in the last period. Now, the way to find out F, there are two methods. There's a long one and, the, and then there's the short one. We can either go manually, period by period, go back. So for example, we could go back once from FUUU and FUUD to FUU using a one-step binomial tree uh, formula to find this option value. Then we could do the same with FUUD, FDDU to find FUD and the same here. Then we would have to go back one more time to find FU and then FD and then one more time to find F. As you can see, this is very long and time consuming. So what we can do is directly use this formula given at the beginning for F, as this makes us go directly from the third period, from the third year, these option prices directly to F without having to go through all these other option values. Before we do that, we have to calculate the probability. 
I said earlier I would talk into more detail about what the probability is. So we know the magnitude, so we know by how much the share prices are going up and by how much they're going down. What we need to find out now is with which probability they go up or down. So how likely is it that they go up? So in this case, we would have P and one minus P is the probability of the share price going down. We know from the question RF, the risk free rate is 1%. Therefore, we have everything we need to find out P. So P in this case would be one plus the risk free rate, which is 1%, expressed as a decimal uh, number is 0 0.01. So one plus that is equal to 1.01 .01 minus D, which we know is 0 0.8 over u minus d, so 1.5 minus d. If we plug these numbers into the calculator, we will get that p is equal to 0 0.3. Therefore, 1 minus p is 0 0.7. Very good. So we can say that p is 0 0.3, likelihood of the share price going up, and 1 minus p is 0 0.7. So this, as you can see, can be used for all the other paths in the binomial tree. So the probability here would be 0.3 every time it goes up. So for instance, here, 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 and here. And the probability of it going down can be used for all the other paths as well. So here, 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 and here. Okay, but don't worry too much about that. Excellent, so now we have everything we need to find out F using this long formula. So let's use this formula. Therefore, F is going to be P cube, so 0 0.3 cube times FUU, which we know is 10.25 plus 3 times p squared, 0 0.3 squared, times 1 minus p, which we know is 0 0.7, times FUD, which is 0 0.8. Then we have plus 3 times p, which we know is 0 0.3, times 1 minus p squared, 0 0.7 squared, times FDDU, which we know is 0. And finally, we have plus 1 minus p cube, so 0 0.7 cube, times FDDD, which we know is 0. And this whole thing over 1.08, sorry, 1.01 cube. Excuse me for the lack of space here. However, what we can see from the formula, remember anything times 0 is 0. So we can forget about this and this. And we are left with the 0. 3 cubed times 10.25 and the other line uh, over 1.01 .01 cube. Now, if we calculate this, and I'll write this down simplified so it's clear to see, that f is equal to 0 0.3 cube times 10.25 plus 3 times 0 0.3 squared times 0 0.7 times 0 0.8 over 1.01 .01 cube. If we plug this into the calculator, we will get that F is 0 0.415. So this is the current value of a European call option with a strike price of 10 pounds in three years time. If you really want to st test your knowledge on this concept, please do the same exercise, but treat it, treat it as a put option, not a call option. And let me know down in the comments what you get.